and then the explanation goes on. Mystery mother of prostitutes. So she had a band. So prostitutes in Roman Empire used to wear a headband with her name on it. So easily they could be identified. So they may be roaming around the streets or in the marketplaces. They could be identified by the headband. So the Antichrist, the imitates Lord Jesus Christ. This woman imitates the women represented as the nation of Israel. So this is also the imitation. Imitation, they have the brand. And so the headband says, Babylon the great. So always they want to be great. The pride is there. The mother of prostitutes and of years of abomination. So they are not regretting. They are not remorseful. They are not repenting, but they are rebellious. It is a rebellious declaration that they are the authority over the world. Their religious system cannot be contested. So they, nobody should fight against their systems. It is a mystery or a spiritual secret for the people of the world. So they will say it is a mystery, it's a secret. It is a revelation, it is our religion. But she is the source or mother of all idol worship and commit spiritual religion. So whatever religion it may be, whatever religious persuasions it may be, what, whatever may be the philosophy. So all this originates from here, the Babylonian, Babylon the Great, the mother of last poster, and of years abomination. Anyway, I may not have time to explain the years of abomination, it's a long thing, maybe in some other context we can do that. So one world government with a philosophy, you can believe whatever you like is attractive. This this is whatever you like. This is attractive to postmodern generation. So we call this generation as postmodern generation. So modern generation is over. Modern generation believed in science. So the modern generation believe in utopia. So the world will become a better place. We will bring heaven on earth. That is what the science, the rationality, communism all believed. But all came to an end. So after modernism came postmodernism. So what is postmodernism? There is no absolute truth. So the truth is related. Everybody has something. So whatever they have, that is right. So don't blame or don't condemn others. So tolerance is important. So if you say Jesus is the truth, they will not like it. So all have truth. All religions have truth. All uh, religious books are sacred. All religious places are holy. So only then they will be attracted. So one world government with the philosophy, you can believe whatever you like. That means you can create your own gods, you can have your own philosophy, you can have your own ethics, so you can have your own morals, you can have your own world. So that is the This is the Babylonian mysterious religion. So what this religion will do, they will persecute the saints. So the Babylonian mysterious women with the name on her forehead will actively persecute the saints of God. So not only persecution, persecution has been throughout the history. So all God's people, the righteous people were persecuted. Now Jesus Christ said, from Abel, the righteous, was mortal. So the blood asked for revenge. So continuously since Abel. So there are there is bloodshed of the righteous people, the truthful witnesses. So what happens in this context is the woman not only persecutes the same, but woes or rivers in her persecution. So that means as the drunkard 
celebrates his drunkenness and he celebrates his wickedness and what all evil things he do the exploitations the oppressions in the same way this woman will celebrate will revel will be proud we will announce that they are persecuting the righteous people so john was astonished as it was a religious or a spiritual moment so the woman portrayed herself as a religious spiritual pious woman of faith so that only astonished john so the false religion the counterfeit religion the imitation will be imitating what the christian faith is they will try to behave externally like that then the angel provides the explanation antichrist was using the past so women the religious system to strengthen his position and achieve his purpose as we know the dragon antichrist false prophet so the religious system springs up from the dragon satan fallen lucifer so antichrist wants to strengthen his political position so what he does he uses the false religion to fulfill his political ambition so he supports the political the religious system the antichrist is basically a politician but he will wear a garb of religiosity to get to the power he desires so many consider the seven hills as that of rome and roman empire but the word used here is not hills it is mountain so in bible mountains are used as a simile for governments so it could be any government or a group of government or alliance of nations so the seven mountains represent seven kings or seven kingdoms or it could be seven times multiples so the seven kings and seven kingdoms so revelation 17:10 is one of the uh, difficult 10 and 11 are some of the difficult passages in the bible so john states that five have fallen one is and other has to come so he talks about these things one is in john's time egyptian kingdom was over the empire after the 10 plagues after the nation of israel were delivered the egypt egypt ceased to be the powerful empire they are gone then came the assyri the assyrians were powerful so they invaded the nation of israel they took them as captives so then came the medo persian empire so then came the babylonian that is nebuchadnezzar nature so we know the babylonian exile when nation of israel was taken away as captives daniel was taken as captive and then for 70 years they were there then they came back then we read in daniel the babylonian kingdom or the empire was over the medo persian kingdom or the empire to go so then in history we read about greece alexander the great so to understand this verse the five have fallen egypt assyria babylon medo persia greek greece the five empires have been fallen that came to the end and during the john's time that was the sixth so that was rome so rome was considered as the continuation in daniel's vision it was the two legs of the statue made of steel then the feet of clay and iron mixed the the leg was steel and the uh, feet was with clay and steel mixed so that is something we can say as roman empire so the feet they say the roman empire ends and the roman empire feet and 
things are there. So that could be the new Roman Empire that comes. So some people think it is, it could be the revival of Roman Empire. Some people think it is a European Union that is claims to be the successor of Roman Empire, or it could be any alliance of nations. So we are not sure. So some people identify with various groups, but the beast is identified as the eighth king. So he has similar characteristics of all the predecessors. So he will also be destroyed. So the allies of the Antichrist, the 10 could be symbolic number or the tools in Daniel. It could be symbolic or the actual number, we are not sure. So when we say the clay and iron are mixed, so they cannot mix together. So they are always separated. They cannot stick together. They cannot become an alloy. So that could become inseparable. They will be separate, but they could stick together for a short time. So that's what these alliances will not be cohesive. Or they will not have the same mind, the same vision. They come together for certain purpose. So this is what we see, the 10 kings or the kingdoms come together. So they come together with one mind for certain purposes, like nuclear energy or stop nuclear war, or let us have sustainable energy, green energy, or we have to fight the global warming, or we have to have a global market. So they may come together with some of these agendas, or there could be more agenda in the coming days we may have. So, but as of now, we see some of these contemporary issues that gets global attraction and young people are attracted to it. So they give power and authority to the beast. What happens? All these kings, all these people, they try to do certain things. They are not able to fight against all these things. They cannot establish green energy. They could not stop global warming. So they could not stop forest fires. So all these are happening again and again. Then that is the time the beast will come and say, yes, I can do it. So they will give the power to that person. So they join with Antichrist. In the war against Christ, as mentioned in the sixth and seventh balls, already we saw in Revelation 16. So they, the helplessness of the human kingdoms is exploited by the spiritual power of false religion, and they took control of the whole world. The prostitute dominates over peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. So it will be global, it will be international. So millions of people will be part of nations who speak different languages. They will be part of the whole system. So then what happens? So the great prostitute is judged. How this prostitute is judged? So we know dragon is there, antichrist is there, false prophet is there. So all the three are using the false religion. So they building up their power and authority using the false religion. So they come into authority of power. So then what happens? There is God's judgment comes upon the prostitute. How does the God's judgment come? So God divides or separates Antichrist and the prostitute. So the prostitute is the religious system. So people belonging to several religions, they claim this is my belief, this is my God, they are all together. Suddenly, Antichrist declares himself as God. So what happened to other people who said, this is my God, that is my God, they created their own God. They said, you should stop worshipping all of them. So they have to worship only the Antichrist because Lucifer wanted worship. 
so only he exalted his throne above the throne of god and he wanted the angels to worship so the lord had to kick him out or send him out of that so now he deceived the whole world in garden of eden only adam and eve were the same so here he deceives the whole world using the false religion false religion is just a means it is not the end so he uses that then he declares himself as god so second thessalonians 2 3 and 4 so antichrist will appear in the temple so if he doesn't appear in the temple so if he doesn't have the support of the israel israelites israelites then he will not be legitimate ruler of the whole world so he will say he would build the temple when the temple is complete in the city of jerusalem he will get into the temple and say i am the messiah so then only the jewish people eyes will be open they will understand okay this is the person then they will reject the antichrist they will be persecuted persecuted antichrist will destroy one world religion as he has become all powerful does not need the religious help anymore so that is the great prostitutes church so the religion emerges and the religion is defeated so god's plan god directs his judgment against religious babylon the wicked kings the ten kings instrument are the instruments to execute judgment on false religion of babylon the kings will be controlled or they will hand over their authority to the king world gets godless religion and godless rules godless religion a religion without god because they rejected the true god they will have religious system rituals sacred books sacred places but without god and they will have rulers who will be godless so who is that great prostitute identity so that will be a big question whom was the political economic religious center of the world during john's time babylon is the world system of rules over kings of the year so all these people to get acceptability they want to be politically correct politically correct so they will support this babylonian world system of religion so there are some people who think this is roman catholic church but it is costinum so we cannot just say roman catholic religion is there babylonian religion babylonian religion includes all religions apart from christian faith so however it could be a association of several religions cultures sects cults all will be together then we see the fall of commercial babylon so we have seen the religious babylon its characteristics so what they represent and how they will be judged as antichrist will just kick off the religion of babylon because he has become all powerful and demand worship for himself so then we see the religious and the commercial both will be judged so in both chapter babylon has similarities they are filled with blasphemy hate and one of the main characteristics is they persecute saints so they participate in the religious system which is spiritual adultery and they come under judgment of god so both whether it is commercial babylon or religious babylon so they have alliance with the political authorities so these three are interrelated interconnected but there will be division among themselves ultimately god will get all of them 